Okay, preparing to close, we're almost there. So some of the things that we'll wanna make sure is that you are uh, calling your utility companies to have them shut off. I, we recommend two days after settlement, just in case there's some kind of delay that's, you know, we weren't expecting and your utilities aren't shut off. We're gonna be asking the buyer and buyer agents to actually have them transferred as of the day of settlement. So that way they're transferred, but you know, if they don't do it for some reason, it will be shut off. It, you know, you're not gonna continue paying their bills. Uh, the other thing you'll need for settlement is your valid IDs. So make sure that they're not expired. Uh, a voided check of the where you, where you want the funds to get deposited to and um, keys and garage door openers. You can either leave that at the property um, or bring them with you to closing and we'll communicate what makes sense uh, for you. Uh, the buyer agent and buyers will be coming through for a final walkthrough prior to closing as well. So that's gonna be, they're gonna be looking for any items that were agreed to be fixed from the inspection and make sure that there's no new issues. So we'll let you know when that is scheduled and typically the buyer agent will also take a, the key from the lockbox to provide to their buyers. Now, if you have a rent back, uh, we're gonna wait on the utilities to be transferred until the end of that rent back. And once that is done, then that secure deposit can be released back to you. So almost there, exciting.